What's up YouTube, today we'll be setting up AWS with WordPress. Before you start, you want a working AWS account. If you do not have one, create one now. First, you want to sign into the console, then click on EC2. Then create an instance. So press launch instance. Select the Amazon Linux AMI. Select general purpose free tier eligible. Then click on the configure instance details. We do not have to tamper with any of these things, so click next again. Click next since we do not have to add any storage. Skip the tag instance. For the security group, we want to add a rule. Scroll down and select HTTP. Finally, we're just going to review and launch the instance. Here you can see all of the settings for our instance, and then now we want to create a key pair. So I've already created a key pair, and it's called test but you could create a key pair and call it whatever you want as long as you download the key pair and know where you're downloading it to. So I already downloaded the key pair, but usually it'll say download key pair and then you download it to your computer. Okay, so the, down okay, so the key pair is super important. You wanna hang on to that so you can access the instance you just made. So now it just says that your instance is launching and we wanna check that by pressing view instance and then you can see that the instance is right now loading up so you want to wait till the status says running and then you're good to go I am just gonna speed it up a little bit because it will take some time okay now that our instance is successfully running I'm just gonna name it test you can name it anything you want but I'm just gonna call it test and then now you want to associate a elastic IP to the instance you just created Okay, so then on the left hand side, you'll see Elastic IP and you click on that. And now we want to allocate a new address. So allocate, yes, allocate. Okay, with this Elastic IP, you want to make note of it and maybe write it down or copy it to your clipboard. What I did is Control C or Command C if you have a Mac. And you take that Elastic IP and you associate it with the instance you just created. So then if you go back to the instances and I'll go back to test, you'll see that the Elastic IP I just created is associated with the instance. So really that's all there is to working with the console. Now we have to open up terminal and then, oh, also you want to copy that Elastic IP so that you can paste it to terminal later on. So sudo su for super user and then ssh ec2 dash user at the elastic IP. So what I did now is just copy and paste the elastic IP there. And then dash i. And then now you want to go to the downloads folder or whatever folder you downloaded your key in and just paste it onto terminal. So now it asks you if you want to update, so sudo yum update, and then yes, it is okay. Now I'm just gonna speed things up because this will take a while. By the way, if you guys are getting a permission error for the key file, what you wanna do is type chmod space 600 space and then paste the key file in there. If that doesn't work, you want to type chmod space 400 space paste the key file in there also. So now that's complete. Type sudo user and then you want to install Apache. So yum install httpd and yes. And then now you want to run it. So, uh, oh, also if you would go to the your browser and then you type in your the elastic IP so you paste that in there and then um, you won't you wouldn't be able to see anything but then if you start the um, service so H service HTTPD start then you would see your Amazon Linux AMI test page now you want to install PHP and MySQL so type yum install PHP PHP dash MySQL now once that is complete, you want to install MySQL. So yum install MySQL dash server. 
and yes to that okay good now you want to start the service so service mysql start okay now that mysql is starting you want to create a database for wordpress to install everything in so mysql admin dash u roots create database name and your database name could be anything but I decided mine to be test database and then now you want to set up and secure a database mysql underscore secure underscore installation enter current password for root there is none so press enter yes you want a root password so yes press y new password your password could be anything okay now it says re-enter password okay so you also wanna you want to remember your database and your username and your password you want to write that down somewhere because those are crucial so remove anonymous yes disallow roots login remotely yes remove test database and access to it okay yeah reload privileges yes yes okay complete next you want to install WordPress so you want to change the directory to HTML and then we want to get WordPress so we get the link will be in the description below and also I'll put a annotation on top okay so now you want to open the file okay now so you want to open the file and then you'll see WordPress the folder WordPress what I usually do is I change WordPress to another um, folder name so in this case I'll change it to test WordPress and then you'll see the test WordPress folder okay now we want to change the wp config sample.php to w-config.php and then once that is done you want to vi wp-config.php and in there we're going to change some settings so once you're in the uh, vi to edit press I so right now I am searching for the database and then you'll have to insert your database name here so press I to insert your database name test database that's what I called it and then do the same to the mysql database username and the mysql database password I'll press escape and then colon WQ now you want to restart Apache so service HTTPD restart and Apache will restart now take the folder name that contains WordPress and type it after the elastic IP all right and there you go you have WordPress running now what you want to do is uh, fill in the site title username and you're good to go if this video helped you please give me a thumbs up comment for any ideas or questions and as always thank you for watching